Thank you, dude. You're a monster. <laughs> they are throwing money for the dancer.
people in the front immediately please follow so that people in the back can see it. They can start doing it. Everybody in the back sees what's going on, knows where we're going. Left and right, pretty simple. Just follow the direction, whoever with the lightsaber is pointing, myself or anyone else. Literally just point back and forth. This next one. Booty cheeks! Booty cheeks! If you're with EDM, you know booty cheeks just means get together, get tight, make sure there are less gaps. Booty cheeks just means get together. Uh, and then this one right here. That just means quiet down and make sure everybody in the crowd can hear what's happening up front or at the sides if something important is happening and people need to know information. Again, just make sure you're following directions when people are pointing so that you are in the safest place for protesters to be. Thank you all so much. <laughs> Okay. We gotta make sure we know. 
know that we're unified. Can we say unified? Unified. Can we say unified? DJFX about your comment dressing for violence. Um, people have been killed and uh, whatnot at these things by agitators. So yeah, we got to be prepared to defend ourselves, as is our right. Making a comment about people not knowing what they're doing when they are being actively led by a group of uh, black led organizers. Who have uh, been working to defund the SPD among like five other demands. We know exactly what we're protesting for. You're going to hear the chants if you keep watching the stream. So if you want to know what people are protesting about, just listen to their chants. Here's the chance you're gonna find out what we're protesting about. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Big Storm. statement that you just said was so general you could have just been talking about like a building thanks victor
CJ400. We're protesting Uncle Ike's as a gentrifier right now. If you weren't aware, the Seattle City Council did not vote, or they voted, and they voted against defunding the SPD. So, yes, we are still protesting for that as well. But we are currently at Uncle Ike's Capitol Hill to protest the owner's gentrifying. My bad, my bad. Tactics. This story is interesting to say the least, so please look it up. Hey Jenny, I'm gainfully employed and so is everyone else that I work with out here, so and my mom's dead too, so you know, try and be more sensitive. I'm gonna try I'm gonna jump back in and we're gonna start one of these, okay? Is that cool with y'all? I mean, DJ, you know, right. a smart move would be uh, funding health and social services, quite frankly. We got problems that can't be solved with brute force. Watching this, don't you have a job, <laughs> Troy? That's correct. They do, which is why we're out here saying Black Lives Matter because it doesn't negate that. Right. Saying that in response to Black yeah. Lives Matter shows that we have a problem with Black Lives Matter. It's not exclusive. Right, it's inclusive. So Well, I worked eight hours today, and I'm out here now, and I'm also tired and chronically sleep deprived because I'm doing this. CJ, there will still be police. I thought the idea of the Second Amendment was that we defend ourselves if we want to. Yeah. I'll also point out that an off-duty cop tried to run over protesters, so you definitely don't want to call that cop, because that cop tries to murder you if you protest. That was here in Seattle. Hey, you too. Thanks, TJ. Thanks for raising some good questions. I hope I answered them politely. I'm not trying to sound upset if I do sound upset. I'm just, you know, tired. Hold the line, hold the line, hold the line. Hi, Zatro. I've given a lot of thought about who I'm voting for because I'm particularly upset about the Biden nomination. Keep it right, keep it right. But I'm probably going to be voting for Biden because Trump has to go. Personally, I don't care how he goes, but he needs to go. So I'll do the easiest, safest thing, which is vote for Biden. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, no, no, Terry, it wasn't an undercover cop. There actually was an off-duty cop confirmed. It was a lady police officer. She tried to run through protesters at an intersection, and she had been seen stalking them like before and afterwards in an SUV. Uh, police did come in response to people calling police on her, and then uh, they let her go without arresting her or anything. Yeah, 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 it's weird. Anyways, you can look that story up, too. All I can do is show you the door. Yo, yo, yo. I'm having, I'm having I'm some good oh, periscopes. Yeah. OK, yeah, I was curious what the, the interface looks, you know, different than, uh, faces. There's some, there's some strengths and weaknesses to it. Like, Jess can hop on the account at the same time and talk to me. 
Oh, okay. And it's no problem. And, I'm, and like moderate too, or? Yeah. Um, also, uh, Mid Midairy. Yeah, Midairy. Uh, we're outside, and as you can see, most people are masked up. I went to try and get tested because, you know, I've been going to these protests all the time. And uh, the doctor said they wouldn't test me just for being out here in these protests because the uh, rate of transmission of catching it is so astronomically low that it's not worth them testing protesters for being outside. So indoor events are a problem, though. Indoor events, they, it spreads like wildfire through the uh, ventilation system. Halloween mask. I'm not sure I understand that reference. It sounds familiar. Let me tell you, I'm not lazy. But I don't feel like I'm benefiting from Trump either. And this isn't about me. And yeah, I have a sneaking suspicion that Trump will win, which is why I'm encouraging everyone to vote.
out from COVID in the world. DJ, there are no protesters for that because it's not as big a deal as you're making it out to be. Personally, I don't think anyone actually wants to be dependent on the government. I just think that people don't want to die if they, you know, can't find work. Because you always need food, water, shelter, Maslow's basic hierarchy of needs. And not everyone can do that for themselves, and that should not be a death sentence just because we live in a capitalist society. We can smooth off that rush at the rough edge of capitalism just fine, like many Nordic countries have done already. We have working models throughout the world. Crocky, black on black crime is not systemic. And you would know this if you looked up the data. You gotta do your own research. Bringing up black on black crime in response to people protesting police violence is one of the tactics that uh, right wing propagandists and racists have been using to distract people who genuinely mean well and want to know. But it's one of their techniques. It's called propaganda. You got it. You fell for the propaganda. Congratulations. Okay. Oh, yeah. Where are you guys? I'm out here. Seattle is one of the most gentrified cities in the U.S., I believe. One of them. And, uh, yeah, as a result, black population has dwindled uh, intensely, which is one of the reasons why we're out here and why it's, you know, an appropriate population of Seattle representation group of white people out here. But as you can see, they are following the cues of their black-led community organizations. Um, Mideri, uh, this may sound controversial to people that are ostensibly on my side, but unfortunately, a lot of the Democratic Party is just as corrupt as the entire Republican Party, and they just kind of want to hide it better. I don't know, Proxy, do you got eyes? Thank you. 
shrimp cocktail. If you did not hear what I said earlier, I went to go get tested at my hospital. And the Our struggle is the same struggle, and there's no right way to protest. There's no wrong way to protest. We just have a right to protest, guaranteed in the First Amendment. Oh, nice. You're in Atlanta. Oh, wow. Georgia has a, has a long history with uh, protests like this.
all crime matters.
The drum stop because they're doing a safety announcement. And yeah, there's talks between cops and protesters all the time, I'm sure. Copy back. I got a job. Okay, you're muted. Three shrimp cocktail. Thanks for right, the empathy. I don't know. I'm in my early 30s. A lot of people in their early 20s. I agree, shrimp cocktail. Who said I'm walking backwards? You had a 50% chance, so nice try.
guess at it. He's on me! Black Black He's on me! Black Black Uncle Isa, Uncle Doug, get your fire all along! Sorry, let me check for those responses. I couldn't read them because I hooked my phone. <laughs> yeah, I love the drums too, and Uncle Dave. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I got it, fire medic. Don't worry, if you think a protest isn't loud enough, I'm sure it'll get there. Uh, so anyways, my phone is, has a little hook loop or whatever. I can put it on the end of my umbrella. So I'm holding my umbrella up in the air to get that sweet, sweet upward, downward angle. Oh no, fire medic. Those are our cars, and I'm not showing them to protect their identities because their license plates are identifiable. <laughs> nice shrimp cocktail. Yeah, uh, for fire medic, if you weren't aware, there is usually a car and bike brigade to help protect the people on their feet at the protests uh, because this isn't just chaos it's very organized Mac, it's called the First Amendment. I agree, fire medic. Thank you. That's too hard to manage while moving.
Justin Furl's right now, but yeah. Violence perpetuated by a systemic racism is something that we are also fighting against. Yes. Yeah. Rebellion Baby right there. Be sure to check out Rebellion Baby on Twitter and Instagram. They're putting together uh, safety kits for protesters, including masks and umbrellas and other essentials that uh, help people stay safe. Uh, Seattle is open carry, yes. Yeah. Like 200, 300 people on their area? feet, and then you I don't know how many okay. in cars and on bikes surrounding the area. Profit, profit, look at that profit. White man just trying to put it in his pocket. Profit, profit, look at that profit. Look at that profit, white man just trying to put it in his pocket. Abortion is a right. Oh, with this 
TikTok is about I'm muting them because they're here to troll. Karma isn't about what happens to you in this life, it's about what happens to you in your next life. Trust me, fire medic, I am more than happy to have a polite conversation about abortion and my feelings on it in depth, but not here on this stream right now. Definitely not with trolls that bring it up in response to Black Lives Matter. Ugh. We're should have been killed by a police officer who spent nine minutes along with uh, two of his co-workers just crushing the dude. Side does a lot. Everywhere 2016, if that's how you feel, I'm gonna mute you because you're dumb. Last I heard, Michael, kids go to school inside, which is why when they reopen the schools, they let kids in it spread like wildfire oh inside the schools because of the ventilation system, because they're touching all the same stuff. Out here, we're not touching other people's property and getting spit everywhere. And we're outside, it's not trapped in a ventilation system. Nah, Hexel, I don't want to give my explanation again, but the spread late rate of COVID uh, amongst protesters is uh, so low they won't even test us anymore. I got a job. Why don't you get a job? No. <laughs> 
Hey, thanks. Actually, I don't have to deal with anywhere near as many as some of these other streamers out here. So, but I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I hope everyone gets home safe, you know. We don't want violence either. And it is organized. <laughs> All right, thanks for chilling with us, Fire Medic. I really appreciate your comments and talking with you. Uh, hope to see you on the next stream. <laughs> Hey, sad chico, mi uh, español es uh, muy mal. Mi vocabulario es muy grande, pero es muy difícil para formar oraciones. Uh, so, I'm not sure. You want to know what we're protesting? Where are we protesting? I, 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 wish, I wish I knew how to respond. Hey, thanks for the follow, fire medic. What block is it on? Oh, thank you so much, Hitbox. Uh, this is on 19th and Thomas. And yeah, Ninja, I do block comments when there's people here to troll and distract and make things unpleasant for the people that are here because they want to know stuff. There is a purpose to this stream, and while those people have a right to their Sorry, I got a phone call. I don't know if they're interrupting. It's always the same friend calling me to. Anyways, Ninja, if you want to talk to those people about abortion, you're more than willing to, or more than free to go check out their periscopes or whatever. But if you're here online, on the one that I'm running here with the Seattle CIC, you know, then the subject is Black Lives Matter. What you gonna do when you can't find you? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? No trolls. Just me. What you gonna do? No, it probably has something to do with the fact that the cops are always smiling and smirking when they get a chance to uh, flashbang and tear gas us. Well, I mean, the song Cops is about police. And that's why it was ironic that it was the theme song for that show for so long.
the sports desk. I don't know if these protesters have ever gotten violent. Maybe destructive in property at times, but that is not violence. And even if they were, no, no one is destroying anything. Everyone is just marching peacefully. The idea of a protest is to be disruptive. There is no right way to be disruptive. City Council did, voted against defunding the police, so we are still protesting to have the Seattle Police Department defunded, amongst many other things. The chants, what they chant, is oftentimes their demands. They also want Mayor Jenny Durkin to resign, among various other objectives. And personally, my goals are definitely very aligned with uh, groups like King County Equity Now, uh, Shama Sawant. That's me personally. So proud bomb of class of 2019. No, I, I really don't think you can. What do you mean? Like, how could we not be disruptive to innocent civilians? Like, no, we have to be disruptive because innocent civilians, as it says over there with the silence is violence banner, uh, the innocent civilians that aren't doing anything about this as though it's a pressing need like all these people, they're the people that we need to activate to get it done. So if we disrupt and then they pay attention, and they help us meet our demands, and we've done a good job with the protests. And there isn't a single right that you have that wasn't given to you as a direct result of protesting exactly like this. Proud Mama Class 2019, once again, we are in our own neighborhoods. Hidden Fox, there will always be a need for a police or security force of some time, some kind, I'm sure. We just want to defund them so they don't have to waste their money off of flashbangs and tear gas, which quite frankly haven't caused us to quit. Hidden Fox sale, the demand is to defund SPD by 50% of their remaining budget for the year, which is about 50 million. Pull from the back, pull from the back. Pull from the back. I need, I need some wah I need some wah I need my voice too. There has been various gains, and I can't take the time to explain them all to you. Who's on Spider Man? Black Lives Matter! Yeah, and Bo quit, Adams, huh? the young man, was Who's not shot Spider-Man? in the chaz or the chop or whatever you want to call it. Who's on so one of the games that they listed off yesterday was... Uh, ending the horse patrol in the police, so no more uh, horses used in police violence uh, and being subjected to you know, the uh, troubles of hunting down people doing crime. That's one of them. So if you care about horse lives, <laughs> And by the way, I have totally been on Congressman Rick Larson's Facebook page and saw people asking him in response to a Black Lives Matter post to please pay attention to some bill about the legality of eating horses for meat. So sometimes people literally do say horse lives matter in response to black lives. So I don't know. Ah, uh, yeah, baby, you got taste. Uh, 
I know, we do have the right to protest. That's how we got that game that I just mentioned. Prior to uh, that game, there was a veto-proof majority that voted to defund the SPD, but then uh, Mayor Jenny Durkin blocked it, and then when they voted again the other day, uh, I think only if, like Sawant voted in favor of defunding the SPD. And she has a very detailed plan of what she wants to do with the money. And, uh, you know, some of these plans that that she has accomplished and that King County Equity Now has accomplished. They've been working on them for a long time, like years, and they only have succeeded as much as they have now because of the support from this movement. So Hidden Fox, if you if simply defund uh, the police, you know, you won't see an increase in crime because of that. And uh, quite frankly, if you were to fund social programs that help people with uh, housing and social services, you know, medical services, mental health, um, you know, support, that would decrease crime for sure. And also, incidentally, yeah, uh, some, some people brought up abortion earlier and were like, abortion is murder. And it's like, if you have an opinion like that, that's fine. But if you did not know, uh, legal access to abortion leads to a decrease in crime rate because uh, people don't end up having an unwanted pregnancy that they are then desperate to provide for. Oh, no, okay. That's what I'm yes, I agree, Rob. So, Hidden Fox, uh, we know what the result would be because there's not only studies here in America, but in fact throughout the world that show rather conclusive data, if you ask me. Yeah, multiple, but I can't find them or name them all for you, man, or even one at the moment. Now, we've been chanting every day since May 29th. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Yeah. So if we have this many people out here chanting every day that are chanting every day right now tonight, we would be able to well, get Max, this job um, done Well, Max, one of the things that uh, we want to achieve, according to uh, so, King County Equity Now demand, not necessarily a specific people, protester demand, but it's one I agree with. Please start showing up uh, every single day, turn over every day that civilian you're control. With your friends, uh, 911 calls should be routed by civilian tired? employees. Oh, and so that way they can make the decision whether or not Period. they need to send so a SWAT team or a social worker. Every day, like you're chanting right now. Every morning, every day, every afternoon, we have an option for all of you. And if you can't make it to a march, yeah, that's shrimp what cocktail. You. I see that you're back. You can Whoa. create a march in your own hometown. That's you right. can go through it in your own hometown on a busy exit, on a busy intersection. So. I don't know if you were aware, but uh, people turned out in the streets in their masks to protest, uh, you know, during the 19, 1912, 1918 time period, or whatever the, the pandemic was. My my mind is just not doing numbers right now. We all we got! We all we need! Spanish. We all we need! We all we got! We all we need! Yeah, protest is okay. Protest is okay for the aforementioned stuff that I've said over and over again throughout the stream, which is that um, protesters do not spread the disease. Their transmission rate or uh, what is it, contagion rate? I don't know. Like the rate that people have caught it has been so astronomically low that doctors won't even test protesters anymore just because they've been to the protest. I went to try and get tested and said I was at the protest around all these people and they were like, ah, you're probably fine because you're outside and you're wearing a mask and stuff. Hey, thanks, Hidden Fox. I mean, I'm trying. We call ourselves the Seattle Community Info Center for a reason. And we uh, are doing this because the media has been consistently misrepresenting us over and over again. And we want to reach as many people as possible. And Only 25% of voters in King County voted on the 4th in the primary election. I mean, all right, Hidden Fox, I'm going to turn the camera around for a second. Every vote matters, you guys. Every you single <laughs> vote matters. <laughs> Anyways, if we but, want people you know, who align with kind, our morals nice in office, kind. we have to get out. We have to get outside and vote for them. <laughs> it's not just about the two most popular candidates. It's about who you're about. Michael Rold schools are and indoors. So whoever gets the most they votes are closed wins. Ventilation it's not because two people like they try and trick us into thinking. Protests okay because outdoors. It's, it's and the majority masks. wins. 
and people that don't it's have to handle the same theory. school supplies so or desks. Twenty five percent of voters voted in King County. I need that handles. to be different on November third. I need that to be different the next years. I need to be. I guess. Because you know what matters. The I have most? a job. Local elections. And this is like having another job on top of that job. That's all I got. That's a good question, Michael Rold. I don't know if beaches are closed here anymore. Bars are open here. Right, Haircut. Here we go. We go. Like, you know, barbershops, hair salons. Those are open right now. People are allowed to go with proper social distancing measures. Every message. day they hold it back, respect the ones that those who black. Every day they hold it back, respect the ones that those who I appreciate that. And uh, I don't either. so hard. I'm glad you're back, Shrimp Cocktail. Yeah, you're right. It, is, it doesn't make that much sense. But I can't account for, you know, every state or the federal government what their decisions are or why. All I know is what's happening here in Seattle. <laughs> CPR. I can appreciate funny comments like that. Don't be afraid to make funny comments. They're not discouraging. Is that true? I'm not sure what you're referring to. Uh, I'd love to know. And thanks for tuning in from New York, guest. I mean, I'm not for it either. It's not ideal. Personally, I've been protesting here since I was like 15. And I've never seen protests on this scale before. And I am here for it. of cinnamon there is no right way to protest there is only a right to protest i don't like the destruction of property that much myself but i like it better than the death of black people at the hands of police under extremely sketchy circumstances constantly Thanks, Babri. Mac, uh, we're working on a website that will detail some of that information. The shop was swept like a month ago or more. Time has been a blur for me. And yeah, so, so the people that brought up the, uh, the looters and the difference between a protest and a riot, there is a difference between a protest and a riot. And looting indiscriminately definitely not cool and it is important to consider the uh, individuals that are hurt when you do that um, but around here i personally have seen that protesters that decide they want to destroy property which is not everyone in this group for sure by by any means the protesters that want to they target specific businesses they specifically target uh ones like rove which is co-owned by a police officer that uh murdered charlena lyles so it's not just wanton destruction it's targeted to call attention to something that people would otherwise not know about i didn't know about that i didn't know about it until i witnessed 
things happening. Hey, I need, hey, everybody put your signals for play. Oh, we got Echo in here now. This is one of my favorite chants. And as you can see, uh, guess no actually, that's exactly why uh, the protesters at the top defended the East Precinct from outside agitators that wanted to burn the precinct down. They were like, don't burn this down. They'll just profit off of the fire insurance. So I know it might seem simple, but it's complicated. Protesters protect property every bit as much as they might destroy some property, it seems. Yeah, defund the police by 50%. So I want everybody to be so loud. I would appreciate it. I would appreciate yeah, Babri and Guest, I, I'm with you. I get it. Give me a P! P! Namaste. Thank you so much for being here with us, India. Pray to Ganesh that the obstacles before us are removed, please. Nice. One of my oldest friends lived in Oakland for a while. Circumstances are super suspicious. All right, free app. No, you don't get to attack Babri. No. -uh. Muted free app. Hey, Kabir, I agree all lives do matter, which is why we have to say Black Lives Matter because most people are acting around here like they don't. Don't feel like you are cool or special for feeling that Black Lives Matter. I don't know if that matters, Mac. can't take it anymore and it's definitely exacerbated by the we pandemic oh yeah it is definitely everywhere that's so right i'm pretty sure you know like if someone was drunk here. driving and crashed a car and died from the car accident no the fact that they had alcohol in their system wouldn't make people go yeah it was alcohol so Iron Blackbird, I, I hear where you're coming from, but I'm, I encourage polite and people used to live here. And uh, awesome. Uh, sometimes people don't protest during quote unquote the normal day because they have jobs. Uh, quite frankly, 
Hey, soul cakes, no need to call people fascists. I understand exactly why someone would be sensitive in response to a comment that, that you know, comes off that way because trolls exist. We're all good. It's taken care of. I'm definitely not voting for Trump. No one should vote for Trump. Zatror, I assure you, alcohol is most definitely a deadly drug and it destroys lives and families. From now moving forward, this lane on the left will stay open for cars. Understood? Yeah. Understood? Yeah, they are working hard. They're out here every day. Let's move. I'm not familiar with candidate Kane. have been defunded by like 50% and we want to defund the police by 50% so we can increase teacher pay. Among other things. not good when people destroy property. But I'm afraid it has a place in protests, and that's true if you look throughout history. Fire, fire, 
And the best way to end that step is actually to help the protesters meet their demands. Yeah, Michael, I'm aware. I get I get phone calls from my dad. Yeah, but I mean, like, if those are people that are turning up for the movement, why would we want to turn them into the police? Like, if we if we all fought each other because we disagreed with each other's methods, we would destroy ourselves, and the movement wouldn't succeed. So. If you are unaware, there's definitely like slick behavior in these protests, much like you would see at high school where like the jocks get together and the goths get together. And some of the people that get together at a protest are people who are willing to destroy property. And it's like they're not sitting at the same table as us, but they're in the same school. Michael, I'm not really trying to defend it because I'm not for destruction of property, but I am for disruption, and I once again state that there is no right way to protest, and if you look throughout history, this kind of stuff, the riots even, yeah, like Stonewall was a riot. Don't people like always complain that the hippies never accomplish anything and now they're like, oh, but the hippies were, were peaceful. Like, there were plenty of not peaceful protests in the 60s, dude. Yeah, Michael, but there was also Malcolm X. And I know that everyone's generally taught about Martin Luther King and they're told like, oh, Malcolm X was not as important or whatever. But then there's even other leaders who, other organizers who did not have the same reach created opportunities for Martin Luther King to get his message out for the broader movement. He came. Well, if you didn't know, as you get further from the site of a protest, the coverage gets more negative and the public perception tends to be more negative than, uh, the, than it is the sentiment of the locals. These people seem pretty focused to me and don't seem like they're being dramatic at all. Well, Michael, what I think is right is uh, filming this stuff and talking to you about it live while it's happening because I want to hear your sentiment and I want to express not necessarily my sentiment, but sentiment of everyone that I've heard. And to a lesser degree, yes, that is colored by the fact that I am a human being who has a perspective. But for the most part, I'm just trying to elevate black voices. Thanks, Michael. We are, we are now, BFW911, if you're saying it'll be worse when the police are acquitted and Trump is re-elected, um, then wouldn't that be uh, like something that a fascist would do? March on DC did make a change. And there's a lot of fucking houses and there's a lot of noise to be made. So when we say out of your Yeah, fire does tend street, to get people to move. We say it as strong from that stomach like Beyonce. We're going to sing it like Luther Vandross. Uh, VFW, I have blocked some people. It just depends okay. on the context of what they're saying in the discussion. Let us know that black lives really matter. Can you do that? Yeah! yeah. Seattle, can you do that? Yeah! yeah. All right, here we go, here we go. We're not go, trying to take go. away all the police tech. We're just trying to defund them so we can fund social services that would reduce crime. Uh, T-Reese Q101SC. You can follow this page in the Periscope app. I don't have the ability to give you instructions on how to do that exactly in the user interface. Hold but on. you can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. Now we go. That was just a trial run. I was playing with y'all. Come on. You ready? 
Yeah, Rival right, we'll Flavin, that's probably true. I'm really curious to see how things are going to develop by the time November gets here. So, all right, so I'm going to call you uh, Hazmat Captain because that's what it looks like your thing is trying to say. Uh, Hazmat Captain, I just don't understand wrecking and stuff. So far, uh, the property destruction that I'm aware of that's been targeted by uh, other protesters has been in places like Rogue, which is co-owned by the people of Charlene Lyles. So the violence is not, you know, sporadic and unfocused. They targeted that building to call attention to the fact that the owner got away with murder and have people talk about it in media, like you're doing right now. I'm not sure what you mean, uh, Jacob, about Michael Brooks saying defund is an austerity and a distraction. It's right down the street. Right down the street. Right yeah, BFW, why would I want to block different opinions? Like, I want to have a discussion. I want people to, like, feel like they can be included in the discussion. Hey, Mac, I, I hear that from, you know, like, my relatives and whatnot, but a lot of these people grew up on the Internet, and the Internet is just, like, a very vile place at times. So, you know, the F word kind of became part of the vernacular. So what we going to do? We're going to be on to the streets. We're going to be on to the streets. I tell until we get what we need. Be our feet to the streets until we get what we need. Intimate couple 100. I am not a representative of the movement, with the exception of the fact that I currently have a bunch of people watching the stream. Uh, the people who are representatives of the movement, in my opinion, are the people that are currently speaking on the megaphones. <laughs> Awesome. Uh, you know, this is one of those situations, once again, where there's a lot of people who have different opinions, but all want the same thing. And uh, even if there's no centralized leadership, there's different leaders that have different levels of control with different demographics, and I think they're all necessary. I get that you're complimenting me, BFW. Thank you. Thanks, guest. Well, T Dash. Hey, I'm Grump. Probably grumpy because I watch Game Grumps all the time, and so I think anger is funny. I agree, Jacob, and qualified immunity. The media is silent on it as well, Tech. I agree. Media is silent on a lot of things. They frame a narrative in a very tactical way, as is their job. Yeah, I mean, go figure that a bunch of anarchists have a hard time making it look like they're a cohesive group. So, Michael rolled, I mean, ideally, you get some of the same cops, and then you don't, you know, fund the cops who are, you know, committing acts of violence and excessive force on citizens. And uh, then they don't rely as much on militarized equipment either which I can safely say has not stopped me from showing up every day. Yeah, possum, I mean, things could be better and it's in its nascent stages still and it might happen over time and you might see that the group comes together or that there's specific people that, you know, help carry the momentum of these protests forward, um, especially once people are able to start going back to their jobs and... Oh no, part of the their job is not that, like for us, but internally, especially cable news like MSNBC and Fox News and CNN, all three of those, they frame a narrative very tactically. Like, boy, I can't even tell you about all the details I have. Oof. Black Lives Matter! 
No, nah, party way. repeat, like, the, the truth does so not hurt that much. Which is why I watch Irish things like The Young Turks and I Democracy Now, personally. I want to inform you as a gauge. We are one team, one voice. Awesome, I personally do not feel that cops, as a rule, are bad because I have friends that are or were, and in some cases actually were in the past tense because they died on the job. So it's a complicated matter. And yeah, some of the language of the protests and the movement in general might seem problematic to some people, but I think at the very least, it opens the discussion. And as long as we don't, you know, shut each other down and actually listen to each other and like try to understand what we mean and why we're saying the things that we're saying or hearing the things that we're hearing, then we all learn how to actually address the issue. We do not interact as an engagement. As an Matt, you're smart. I started coming to the protests. You know. So we will in part because it's like, oh my God, I need to, you know, show other people it should be out here too. And with, and with the people who we see across from us, okay? Tech, I yes, Young Turks are biased, you biased as progressives, can and they are very open about that. And if you watch their videos, they will often just give you the objective information, oftentimes actually reported by other news organizations, and they'll just explain it for like the first like minute or two of their videos, and then they will spend a while providing speculation so, something really from a progressive perspective that it was actually named a quote Ike as well. Oh, I actually want to hear this. Quote, unquote, black name. So the owner I always knew there was something racist about the name Uncle Ike. Anyways, um, yeah, they provide their speculation. They're honest about it being speculation. And they, uh, I personally, I found that a lot of their predictions are accurate, though, because they're extremely knowledgeable about uh, all of the uh, inner politics in of just Tacoma. working in the U.S. Emerald government. Leaves in Tacoma. Emerald leaves in Tacoma. Yeah. Buy your weed from Emerald Leaves in Tacoma. Shrimp cocktail. I'm just walking in front of this march, personally. They know what they're doing. I'm just, right. I'm, I'm here filming it. So, Uncle Ike, Ian, he thinks that if he All hires right. black people cool chance, to work and yep. systematically has them stand outside before a protest, oh. that we're going to think that he's not racist. Yeah. Yeah. Mac, I mean, maybe. Montel, they're not spending the money on training. Like, we've been protesting longer than the average police officer is trained at this point. Think about that for a second. Hazmat, um, it is the nature of politics for people to try and uh, co-opt or um, piggyback on movements and momentum and attention in, in all ways. And I mean that in a both positive and negative way. So yes, people do try and hijack the protest, but um, I would say that people generally, you know, are here for the movement and are here in solidarity with the movement. Michael, um, you know what? Uh, we're working on putting together, um, you know, a cohesive list of protester demands. But you can look up on King County Equity Now. They have a list of specific demands that the protesters are for. Another thing is, uh, you know, releasing all the protesters. Like, don't arrest them. Get, get them out of jail. Yeah, possum. I mean, it's sad when you paint any group with a with a broad stroke. No group is a monolith. Hey, T Dash, we do blame our local politicians. That's, those are the, some of the people that were protesting, like Mayor Durkin and uh, most of the Seattle City Council who voted uh, against defunding the police when push came to shove. Montel, I absolutely agree, and we need the right people being the police, too. We don't need people that have an upwards of 90 complaints of excessive force, uh, which is, you know, something that they're able to get away with because of the power of corrupt police unions, which is why SPOG, uh, Seattle Police Officers Guild, was kicked out of the Seattle City Labor Council. So that's another thing that was accomplished pretty much as a result of the protest. And not just the protests, but the people who are working with black-led community organizers in order to accomplish goals like that in the halls of power. Whose lives 
Um, yes, I agree that, yes, you can make change running for office, and yes, you can make change from within the system, but a lot of people have, you know, made claims as former police officers that they tried to make change. Anyways. Something's happening here, so we're trying to make sure everyone's staying peaceful and also safe. if you are not black and you start fucking shit up, it puts our lives at risk. So you are really not out here for Black Lives Matter. If you are nothing Yeah, possum. I, I mean, I don't disagree. I just think, personally, like, it's way harder to, like, police how people raise their kids. And, I mean, people already are trying to police how people raise their kids. And it's led to a lot of black people ending up in jail for some really unjust reasons. We're the first people they're going to see. Especially for the organizers, it's going to be... Doing my best, Michael. Thanks again for the support. I really appreciate it. Every day, March, they declare us a riot every single day. We don't fuck anything up. And Montel, you know, I, I hear what you're saying, too. Like, you can make the argument about anything, you know. And that's why I think, you know, you should pay teachers more, for example. We should totally defund the police to get us more excellent teachers, which, to uh, Possum's point, would help us teach our kids better. While we are doing this, black people in the center protected, okay? Allies on the outskirts, please. Again, nobody is the step on the Uncle I'm I glad we agree with that, Montel. Car wash, none of that, okay? We stick Thank you all for tuning in and talking with me. I really appreciate it. You seem like fine folks. Hey, possum, you're right about that too, and I know that because I have relatives that worked in the education system. Thanks, Gus. I really appreciate the people who take the time to actually like talk and engage with me on the stream because uh, otherwise, you know, I feel like I'm just one more camera view. Yeah, do you want me to film it? Probably not. The reason that they're angry and saying don't fuck shit up is because white people, sometimes there are white people in the crowd who just want to fuck shit up, and then that endangers people, black people, in the Black Lives Matter movement. And so they, they do that. They specifically call out, especially if you are white, don't commit acts that could put black people in danger. It's Rage Against Machine cover playing right now. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. What up, dude? What up, Bo? Anyways, um, I feel like I was saying something I didn't mean. But yeah, so if a black person decides they want to do something destructive, they know the risk.
people with way better cameras out here and audio equipment and you know crazy rigs like that thing over there that you put the thing up so the fact that you're here and watching my stream and talking with me uh, makes me feel like okay i'm actually reaching someone who might not have been reached otherwise and i appreciate that that's all i'm trying to do out here is uh elevate and amplify the voices of uh, black-led community organizers I mean, Michael, I think the idea is that we try and get better at everything all the time, and sometimes this happens to be the way that you do it to get better. Hey, thanks, Montel. I pride myself on seeming reasonable. Seeming reasonable. I mean, I don't want bad teachers to get paid either. I've definitely had bad teachers in my life and found them to be just as destructive as police officers for me, but... I'm not black, so police officers have definitely been more destructive to the black community in the United States on the whole. So, um, to address Intimate Couple 100, I have been protesting in Seattle since I was like 15, and uh, I'm now in my mid-30s, early to mid-30s. And uh, there was always police presence, very visible whenever I protested the Iraq war years ago. And now, if there is a police presence, I can safely say, because I've been you know, around the protests and not in them at times, that sometimes the police uh, are watching from like a bicycle brigade or are nearby, but they are not doing anything to help us block traffic at this time. Uh, they're not doing anything to like try and slow us uh, or anything like that. And I, that has been the case pretty much since the protests at Westlake or the protests after, um, after the child was established. Do not be violent, guys. Please, no violence here. No violence. What are you doing about violence? One second, I'm Use our... Kayloon, yes, I agree. Teachers usually don't tase kids over a routine writing of a referral or shoot them and kill them. Hey, thanks, Possum. I mean, that's the, again, the whole idea behind the community info center. Try and reach the people who are not part of the protest center. Excuse me, super sorry. And, uh, you know, actually talk to them. How's it going? Everybody stay to this side. Everybody, hand motions this way. Everybody, nobody should be on their block. So sometimes I wait and go to the back. Uh, sometimes I walk around. Everybody, come on, to the right, to the right. Sorry, I bumped into you there. All right. It also felt like you were kind of actually bumping into me. I was, I was kind of bumping into you. Okay. Everybody should well, be on the right side of the yellow line. I got it. Look down. If you are stepping yeah. on top of the yellow line, no good. They like talking to me. I don't know. Ah! Shit! It, it comes off all the time. Smooth block ladder. Not for 
front. Move this way. Proud from the back, please move this way. No land. Awesome. What's not cool to you? Everybody start to move to the left again. Everybody from the back, move up and then well, move to the yeah, left. Well, yeah, but, you know. I mean, it's entirely possible that you don't understand how anarchy works, but, you know, I don't mean to be rude, but, you know. Guys, move this way. Also, Bo, I mean, one way. would hope that if we've been doing this for months now that we would get better at it. Guys, please listen to me. Can you VFW, we make holes for Can emergency traffic all the time. Come on. Okay, that's, now this, here. From here to from here. Here. Move so so what was wrong is the dude was obstructing okay, the organizers. Stepping on the Uncle Ike's block. They have anger issues, okay? I think it's a small dick problem. I'm not sure, but usually it is. No, no, he's right, not now. Exactly. Come on, people, move to the left. You want to basically yeah, and, uh, a little We're not right now because there's no emergency vehicle trying to get through. Thanks. Yeah, everybody says that whenever I do it. I'm just like, all right, I'll keep doing it then. <laughs> oh, yeah. And this is the tool that you need for protests, for sure. So You don't need a monopod when you got an umbrella that you can just hook your phone onto. Uh, you want streamers other than myself if you're like you know from you know the east coast or something like that and you're not aware of like all the people in the scene you should check out seattle protest network because they often stream us and other people simultaneously are you on insta yes we are instagram.com slash uh at seattle underscore cic Personal friends of mine. Do you know I'm streaming? And if you don't know that I'm streaming, you're a bad friend. Black Lives Matter! 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 Black Lives Matter!
Just a little quick update. Y'all hungry? Y'all hungry? We got food for you. We're going to head on right over here. There's a couple of little tables over there. Get yourself something to eat. You got water? Get yourself some water. Do what you got to do. But first and foremost, organizers providing food, food and water to protesters. Say black people. Black people. Black people. Black people. I don't think they did. They seem very grateful of us as white allies. Please. Say Elvis. When I say us, I mean like people like me. Which means when we're in these talking. neighborhoods, we respect these streets. Y'all hear me? Y'all hear me? We don't disrespect our people. That's why we're here. Y'all hear me? Y'all hear me? We are here for the people of this community, not against them. We are here for the people in this community. We are not against them. It means you do not trash talk the people in this community. Y'all hear me? Y'all hear me? Security members over there are Seattleites. So we respect them. The entire time we are here, we respect them. We can disagree, but we respect them. Say respect. 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 Currently, we're going to take a five to ten minute break, get your food, get your water, get your cough drops. VFW, what and do you mean by the rider? Nice. Once again, their table's going to be to the right. Point to the right over here. Say food right here. Food right here. Food right here. Food right here. Say food right here. Food right here. Let's eat, let's eat. 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 Alright, right, usually the licensed music is time for me to stop streaming because they'll mute it. Yep. Everybody's gonna be eating here. Look, Kendrick. Right. Thanks, Bag. Yeah, so I'm gonna wind down. Uh, so I get, got here a little bit late because I was uh, driving, driving people, and had to pick them up and had to wait for them. And uh, once I started streaming, uh, we went from uh, Uncle Ike's in Capitol Hill to Uncle Ike's on Union. And as far as the food goes, I believe it's over there. Hey, when it's on the umbrella, it gets all swivelly. I gotta be careful about that because I don't want my stream to give you know people unintended legal consequences. So I'm trying not to show their faces while their masks are down, but I will show the food. 
Thanks, Possum. Uh, looks like we got some burritos, sandwiches, chicken sandwiches. As you can see, being handed to protesters by people in gloves, wearing masks, and uh, properly sealed with their own individual utensils. Got some sweet rolls here. What do we got here? We have two They're made with guava, and these are our vegan So these are like the guava baklava? It's very similar, yeah. Got it. It's, it's like lay, a lot of flaky layers of guava in the middle. Someone gave me one of these for free. I met some people. Do you like what these are free now? Yeah, I know. Uh, Do you like what? Sure, yeah. What are these? Okay. Rolls? Guava They're, baklava. Uh, oh my basin. god, this is so good. All right, thank you guys. They are amazing. Uh, so yeah, food options there, and uh, you know people are listening to Kendrick Lamar, which is a solid choice, uh, and getting food and kind of celebrating, you know, all the hard work that they did today, organizing this event, putting it together, and uh, I need to wrap up. So if you want to see more of this stuff or like our other types of content. Uh, please follow us uh, at Seattle underscore CIC at uh, Instagram or Twitter. And we have a link tree that not only connects to like all of our stuff, but to uh, groups like King County Equity Now. And uh, we just want to help keep elevating uh, the voices of uh, black community, uh, black led community organizations and black owned businesses. So tune in next time. Uh, thank you all for talking with me. I really appreciate it. It makes this, you know, act of actually filming and being engaged, you know, with people on stream instead of people around me. It makes it seem worth it to help reach a broader audience who might not normally be reached because I'm here and you're there. All right, my so, so on the sidewalks are in the barricade.